Hello everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you for all the support uh, you've been giving me past, I don't know, half a year. Um, today I'm gonna make a video and show you everything I'm gonna take on my trip. Uh, I've already posted a picture of it uh, on my Facebook page. You can check it out, uh, ask questions. Or you can just uh, keep watching. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, my longboard. Everybody knows it's a demon seed. Everybody knows they did their fair share in long distance trips. Uh, stable board. Um, what else can I say? It just has proven itself <laughs> already. So I think it's a safe choice to take this uh, board from Ryan. Uh, I took caliber trucks, they are very sturdy, they are very responsive, uh, they are more for free riding, I guess, um, but I think they are great uh, still for boards and trucks and wheels, it's most of all your own preference of what you want to take, uh, you have to feel it, uh, you have to be confident on the board, so uh, that's the most important. Wheels, got a seismic speed fans. They're uh, 85 millimeters. Uh, they're quite big. Um, I guess I could go a bit smaller, um, but I'll need... They've got a good grip. They are good for downhill. Uh, they must be stable enough. So I guess they're good enough for what I'm gonna do. And I am actually very... Uh, pleased with these. They're, they, they ride soft as a cloud. Um, and I know because in Belgium the roads are horrible. Um, so they, they will keep you going I guess uh, without too much vibration on your foot and, and your legs. So this is my board. Uh, next on the list, I got the, this thingy. Uh, it's a gorilla pot. It's a tripod. It's great. You can hang it around trees. You can hang it around guardrails. It has a, a ball head, which is great because then you have more uh, turning abilities. Push it, put it the way you want it. Uh, I did some. <laughs> do it yourself job for making a mount for my GoPro on top of it. Um, then of course to put on it my GoPro. It's a silver edition. It's a great camera. It's versatile. It's sturdy. It's small. It's light. Put on the surfer pack from uh, my last trip. Um, if I go swim I won't lose it. Put on a strap. Never lose it. Uh, doesn't cost much and it can save you your camera. Um, it has Wi-Fi uh, which is kind of nice because then you can like put your uh, in contact with your iPhone you can have a preview of how you put your angle and then you can record uh, by just pressing on your pressing on your iPhone uh, the record button so you can do everything on distance which is nice but it does um, chew up a lot of your battery. Uh, which is a bit... Uh, I don't really like the fact they use micro SD cards because micro SD cards are small and you can lose them and you can't have them in such big uh, memory as the normal SDs but they already come in quite a big uh, amount I guess 32 is the maximum maybe not anymore it is a fast growing uh, industry so very good camera does is a bit expensive so GoPro put down your prices and I guess more people will buy it. Next up is something I think is really cool. It's uh, the Power Monkey Extreme. I read so much about it. I haven't been able to test it properly, but well, I'm going on a trip anyway. Uh, it comes with this uh, battery. Um, this battery can load up to six times your iPhone, so it's pretty big battery. 
It's a bit heavy and a bit big, but uh, on the other hand, it also comes with this. Very good case, you can get anything out. It comes with the solar panel, so you can load it up on a good day. It should be loaded in, in six hours, I guess. Haven't read the complete guide yet. Um, I'm really stoked to try this out actually because power will be necessary for uh, charging my phone and my camera. Uh, that's actually all I'll have to charge, so it's, uh, I guess it will be able or it will be capable of doing that. Um, then I got uh, towels for uh, tracking. They're small, they're light, they dry very fast. You have a lot of kinds, a lot of uh, brands in there. Just get a few, I guess two is enough or something, but it's like 106 grams, which is it's not much. <laughs> I guess you can really, they absorb very well, they dry very quickly, that's all you need for a trip. Um, this thingy, this is uh, the Thermarest, this is my uh, sleeping pad, it's very small, it's very light, it was a bit expensive, but uh, I'm very surprised about how light and small it is, um, it's worth every penny in my, or every euro cent, or whatever, because, um, well, it doesn't weigh much and it's much more comfortable than a pad or a foam or anything. So it keeps you warm, it keeps you a bit of the <laughs> off the ground. Um, I really like this one. Next up is my sleeping bag. It's the La Fuma sleeping bag. It has uh, a transition of 3 degrees, which is mm, 35 Fahrenheit. I don't really know that uh, sort of degrees in Fahrenheit. Um, it's not heavy, it's very small and compact. It has insulation with uh, um, feathers, so that's very warm for if it would still can be getting cold, I guess, at night. It's only made. Uh, next up is, uh, the most surprisingly, it is my tent. It's not very big. It's the Vode uh, BV. It's very light, it has sticks in it, it has these uh, little herrings for uh, attaching it to the ground. It's very small, packed, but it's also small when you put it up. It's put up in about, what, two minutes? But if you have to crawl in it, I would only crawl in for sleeping and nothing else. Uh, you can sit up straight in it, it's like a sleeping bag but a bit bigger with a bit more space. It's a single wall so it's really for sleeping only. Um, if it rains I can go lay in it but I've got something else for if it's raining and I don't uh, want to sleep yet. Although I guess if you've been pushing all day you will want to sleep pretty quickly. So I also took a tarp with me, I can put my stuff underneath it because it won't fit in my tent. Uh, I can go sit underneath it myself if it rains. Um, I'm just taking this as the most versatile thing I'll take, I guess. Nothing, I can do everything with it, I can do nothing with it. We'll see what to do with it actually. But it's a pretty big one, it's not that heavy, it's a very light uh, tarp. So. Goodbye. Next, this is my cushion. It's also small. I need a cushion to sleep, otherwise I, I don't sleep very well. Um, it's not necessary, but it's small, doesn't weigh anything, so for my comfort I think it's a plus. Uh, next, I got Care Plus. I'm gonna show you what's inside. It's a lot. It's a bit heavy. It's well, pretty big just for a first aid kit. 
but it has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, it has a splint in it for if I break something. It has scissors and a lot of bandages and everything. Uh, even chapstick for your lips. Uh, I think this was the most complete set I could get with the least amount of bulk and, and weight actually. I will put in some medication for a headache or uh, touristica and other stuff. You will need uh, something if you're getting sick, otherwise you can't push any further. Uh, this is where I'll put in my toothbrush. Um, I've also put in this little it has a hook, it's very handy, you can put it up um, just for organizing some stuff. Uh, I took this one, I'm not sure you can read it. It's actually for travelers, some uh, soap, you can wash everything with it. Your hair, your face, your body, your dishes, your clothes, everything. So. It's just everything in one soap, handy, don't need to take a buttload on uh, bottles or anything else. And just take one bottle, not too big, not too heavy, great to take with you. Uh, I always carry my Leatherman, I, I love this multi-tool, it's expensive, but it's life-saving. Uh, if you got a... Uh, um, I got a drawer from Ikea, you can put it in together with only this thing. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it, it has like bit pieces you can put in for screws. I use it for my uh, longboard uh, together with my skate tool, so it's very nice. Just don't take it with you on a plane, because then you'll lose it and that would be a shame. Uh, I got me a cab for the sun and the rain, I guess. Um, it has a piece of hard shell in it, which I think might be safer than not wearing any head protection at all. It's a safety hat for uh, industries. I guess you can get it at a shop where they sell safety clothes. It's not the most pretty cab, but it will do its work. Um, and it will do it safer than a normal cap, so... Uh, money belt, you know, for what that is. Money, of course. Glasses, or, well, shades. Uh, otherwise, I am a person who has already very uh, sensitive eyes, so I won't be all day like this. But then I can see at the end of the day. If it's sunny, because it might be raining. Um, to carry all the stuff with me, I use my backpack. Um, it's a Deuter. Love the Deuters. They got very soft uh, straps uh, for your neck and your shoulders. They got a very wide um, strap for your um, your hips which makes it quite comfortable. It has a little pouch on the strap, which I think is easy for getting stuff you need quick and fast, but to put it away. I attach the whistle to it with a, a compass, always handy. Some uh, um, carabine, carabiners, carabiners. <laughs> it's handy, you can stick stuff to it. Um, a spoon and a fork because well I need to eat. Uh, in this bag you can put in a camel pack which is such a handy tool. It's you can just bring it with you. You can drink water, you can refill it when you can. It's two liters. It's well it's heavy, it's two kilos extra but um, well, water is important, of course. Uh, no water, no longboarding. And on my other side, I got my helmet. Important, always wear your helmet. Safety first, people. 
I got my gloves, also very important. Uh, I took mountain bike gloves, put on some wholesome pucks. Uh, I really like the wholesome pucks, they glow in the dark, they smell nice. When I, you're sweating or you need a, a little boost, you just smell your pucks and you're on your way. Uh, of course, socks. I might take quite some socks because I like fresh feet. Uh, they, I don't want to have moldy feet and the end of my push. Uh, you have to take care of your feet during a trip like this. So socks are important. Uh, wash them when you can. Um, and well, take enough of them. Don't just go on one pair, I guess. That would be not very good for your feet. I got my uh, G-Forms, they're very light, it might be great for when it's hot weather, I guess. They're much uh, less warm when you go uh, for in comparison with um, normal pads. Uh, they protect pretty well, the only thing they don't slide, so when you fall you'll do a roll over or something. Um, I got my Mont Harmonica just to keep myself busy when I'm getting tired of everything. Um, I can't really play this very well. I won't show you now. Maybe you will see some in the videos I'll make. Uh, my horrible musical talent. Also, very important. Nuts and bolts and extra bearings. Always take extra bearings. Uh, the other day somebody told me he had to walk three hours until he could get a new bearing. Just try not to get into that situation and take extra. Um, also some bolts, if a bolt breaks or something, you can just screw in a new one, you're back on your way. It's better to come prepared, it doesn't even weigh that much. Um, well, straps. I got a a lot of straps to put stuff onto my backpack. I'm not sure how I'm gonna load all this stuff up yet, so it's gonna be a nice puzzle this evening or next week. Uh, also, took this. It's a C2 Summit. It's a little cup um, that doesn't pack much weight. You can see lines on it. Uh, for measurements for water, it's 250 milliliters, I guess. Just if I need a cup, I got a cup. Uh, I won't need it much, I guess, but well, you never know. Cup can be heavy. Um, I'll be taking these sporting t shirts, they're very light, uh, they have flashy colors. Uh, people can see me, although I also got a black one. Um, well, they're light, they're for sporting, they're for running, you won't sting that easy in them. They're not merino wools, but merino wools are very expensive here in Belgium. Um, so, well, I don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes that will might break or I will fall and I crash holes into it. It's a bit silly or sad to uh, put a lot of... of money into clothes you're just gonna ruin after a month in my opinion so uh, a soft shell it's a very nice material for against the rain it doesn't have a cap but I don't really care I'm sure the rain won't kill me uh, it's waterproof it's windproof which is a very good plus uh, I can use it as a sail maybe who knows uh, I really like this. I hope I don't need it too much. And, well, pants. Uh, also bought cheap pants with uh, to zip off. These were, I guess, 40 euros uh, or something. I won't wear much pants. I'll probably wear these ones zipped because, well, it's nicer with the sunshine. Still walking on a lot of sun, apparently. <laughs> Um, yeah, 
I will fall, there will get holes in it, they'll get dirty, I won't wear them probably after this trip anymore. So don't spend too much money on pants, you will just ruin in a month. Uh, it's maybe smarter to wear this for a month, not spend much money on it, fall it into little pieces, come back and throw it away and next time just buy another pair of these, they're not expensive in my, well, they're 40 euros is not but for pants like these, if you buy these from, uh, I don't know, Colombia is quite cheap uh, brand but you've got uh, Ravenfolia or something like that or La Fuma or Wolfskin these pants can go into 150 euros and that's just not worth the money um, good I guess that's all except my shoes um, but my shoes are far far away so uh, I bought the Loas also just like a board I guess shoes must be your own preference um, push with what you think is good um, just see they're sturdy enough to foot break um, that they're not too heavy because uh, well I don't know my shoes are quite heavy some people just say take a light shoe but I get a lot of cramps when I use light shoes so it's what you need or what you want or what you prefer from shoe but it's Good to have a, a good shoe that supports your feet and not a skate shoe because skate shoes tend to be way too flat for doing this kind of stuff. Um, well that's about it I guess. Um, I'll, I'll let you know during my trip um, what happens if I get the chance to get to some internet cafe or something. I won't be online for the whole month. Um, it might do me good uh, <laughs> to be offline for a month. Um, after the trip I'll do the montage. It can take a while, it can be fast, it depends on the mood I am for editing. I don't really like editing that much actually. I'm more like a film person. Uh, put me behind the camera and I'm happy, but put me behind the computer with an editing program and that's, uh, it goes but it's not that fast or anything. So I'll just get you updated as quick as possible um, I'm very stoked uh, it's only a week anymore uh, that's pretty quick uh, I've got uh, this Wednesday a race for running it's called Spartacus Run um, it's 10k well 10 kilometers not uh, miles um, 10 kilometers it's not that far but I'm not a good runner and it has obstacles in it a lot of mud and water and hills so I'm kind of looking forward to that I hope I'll be able to start my push with not too much muscle sore after that but I uh, wish me luck uh, on both the Spartacus run and on my trip um, and I'll see you soon uh, thanks for all the support and uh, I really appreciate it and don't forget to donate to my charity um, because that's why I do it and, and I think it's important uh, to show some love to the people from SOS uh, uh, Kinder Villages so uh, thanks again bye